Hey, Stan, what are you doing? Oh, it's great, Wes. Professor Limbledore on the third floor he wants me to scan all this stuff, and he needs it in an hour. Is he insane? I mean, this is an all-day job. Come on, work, you beast! Let's, Get in there! Stan, this, this is a document feeder. I mean, you can put in 50 pages at a time in this scanner. I mean, why are you complaining? Hey, can you just quit talking and help me with your foot? If you put your foot right up here, I think we can get you. Come on, stand Actually, it! You know Let's what? Go. I've got a much better solution. We have a new Z-Rock. Hey, can we go up and shoot Professor? No. 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 Come on, scan. Let's uh, go. We have a Xerox document center downstairs. We can probably scan all this in about 10 minutes right to a PDF file. No way. Yeah. Let's go. You want me to show you? All yeah. right. Let's go. the mailroom. I need a scanner, not a copier. Well, actually, Stan, last July we discovered that we could actually get the Xerox Document Center for less cost per month with a lot more capability. It does copying, it does scanning, it does network printing, and we can scan that thing in about two minutes, or maybe less. You're insane. Show me how. Okay, here's how we do it. If a faculty member wants to do this, they'll be able to request it in the mailroom just like they would get some copies if the document's less than about 50 pages. But seeing that Professor... Double switchage. That's right. Uh, really wants a lot more than that, uh, they'll probably want to take it to faculty support and let Pavan or Carissa do it. Hey, Pavan is great. There is a maximum of 100 pages that can be scanned at a time. So we'll cut this in about half. And all I do, instead of saying I want a copy, is I press Network Scanning, and I pick the, the template that I want, and I press the Go button. That's it. And now, this thing is going to zoom right into the copy room, and instead of making pages, it's going to show up in a PDF file. That goes faster than my daughter's when I yell dinner. Well, I wish Pavon was here to see this, because no one in our college would be more excited than him to see that, rather than scanning in page by page, it'll happen like that. So as soon as this is done, let's go over to the computer in the mailroom, and I'll show you where it is on the network okay. and what it'll look like. Let's go. What are we doing at the PC, Wes? Well, this computer actually has a connection right onto our network, and the network is where that document has been placed um, so that we can open it up as a PDF file. That's great. Does it have solitaire? Uh, it actually does have solitaire, Stan, but let's not play that right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead and open up that shortcut right there on the desktop. This one here? That one right there. And you see every file that's a red file is actually a PDF. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. That's amazing. The most recent document uh, is here. If you'll double click it, I'll it's going to open, open up Adobe Acrobat Reader. And however many pages were in that bunch of, of documents that we put on the scanner, we're going to see every one of them here in the PDF file. Wow, this is awesome. How many pages is that, Stan? Well, Wes, it's 85 pages. 85 pages? And how long did it take us to do that? I would say it took less than two minutes. Wow, that's amazing. That's unbelievable. I'm going to look like a genius to Professor Himble's widgets on the third floor, and I could go back to my desk and write email. That's right. Well, isn't this going to be great? So, obviously, this is exciting for our college, but it's also going to be important that we talk about copyright, because it's going to be so easy to make these kinds of documents. And we'll be talking about that more this semester.